outrage. It's an outrage. We should all be totally outraged by this. You know, the wonderful, wonderful, and powerful transgender woman, uh, Jessica, I can't believe I remember her last name. Um, she, she was the one that filed a complaint because the salons would not wax her testicles. You know, and that's just, that's just wrong. If a woman wants her testicles waxed, a place should have to do that. You know, if you, if you open a business and you will wax everybody's um, booty hole, but you won't wax uh, a, a female's testicles, then you should be uh, forced to do it. She took them to court, and now she's lost. She has lost. You know, it's just not right. When you start uh, going against, like, the laws of nature, because this woman... You know, she might have been a man, but she is now a woman. And that's, that, the nature has changed. Her phys physicality has changed. And so she is now uh, a woman. Once you call yourself whatever you are, that's what you are. That's what the law states. That's why we have transgender and uni uh, unis um, sex bathrooms. That's why I say unicorn. <laughs> but it's just wrong. So now they're going to make her pay court costs because she lost the case. She, you know... If you're going to put out a, a sign that you're in business to wax stuff, you should wax stuff, no matter what that stuff is. I say she just goes to one of those places in Koreatown and just dip her testicles in the water and let those little fishies just pull it right off. That's right. There's those places. You ever seen those? You put your feet in there and the little fish will... They chew on your feet. That's what she should, that's what she should do. She should go in there and just dunk her testicles and get them cleaned up. That, that's what I would do. So, Jessica, you keep going, girl. You fight the fight. You resist. We're with you, glitter sister. I hope they make your testicles glitter at some salon.